Martin from Woodridge, Virginia. What's up? Welcome back to Brews with Beck. I'm your host, Dan. How the hell are you? I have got my very, very nice sister-in-law to my left, off camera. There she goes. She's going to taste off camera, and she's going to give me how she feels about each of these brews, because she gave me each of these brews both from Virginia. Okay. The one sitting right in front of you. This is called, if you can see it, from Smart Mouth. Uh, yeah, it's called Alter Ego. It's kind of hard to see on the can. There you go. I'll just at least do this, the Smart Mouth. Um, smart, it's from Smart Mouth Brewing Company from where, Elizabeth? Norfolk, Virginia. Yeah, I don't want to cuss, so she said it right. Uh, that That is where it's from. It's from fairly close to here. It is 6.2 on the Richter. Ding! Uh, basically, this dude, Porter Hardy, he was an attorney that was making beer on the weekends, and he decided with a friend to start Smart Mouth Brewing out of where? Norfolk, Virginia. All right. <laughs> uh, he brewed this one with a, as a farmhouse style of a Belgian Saison. It's supposed to be effervescent, refreshing, fruity, peppery, dry, should try pairing it with seafood, oysters, mussels, smoked sausages, cured meats, yada, yada, yada. It complements aged Gouda. Who knew? Um, so, yeah, that's kind of the background on this. Again, 6.2. It's a little bit above a session. Uh, 33 IBU. I'm looking forward to it. I like farmhouse uh, ales. So, uh, and you can see, if you can see, it's it almost looks like a hazy IPA. So, or slash, you know. For you Blue Moon people slash uh, whatever the other ones are, yeah, let's just go with Blue Moon. You know, kind of looks like that. So uh, I didn't really, not not doing a whole lot of, I don't have my Richter button, don't have my rating scale. I'm, do, I'm not comparing it to other people. We're just going to taste it straight up today. So out of where? Norfolk, Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth. Uh, let's taste Alter Egos from Smart Mouth. Ding. Elizabeth, what, what, what's your first thought? It's okay. It's not my favorite smart mouth for beer. What, but what, I what flavors do you taste from it? Uh. If you had to try to <laughs> do your best. I do get the peppery. At the end. Like a little like clove peppery. Um, it tastes kind of tart to me. Like really? it, it makes me pucker. See? I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have thought that. Um. It, it does give me, like, more of a weedy blue moon. You mentioned blue moon earlier. Right. And I'm not a fan of that necessarily. Right. It's got more of, like, that clove, hef hefe yeah. bison type of feel to it. Um, it what, what's the, if, out of 100%, what would you say the mouth feels on this as far as how, how, how big is it? You know what I mean? Like, like if, a, if a beer is 100%, it's just, like, eating a beer. Oh. Um, I would I mean, say, like, like, I would say... For me, this is about 25% out of 100. Oh. What do you think? <laughs> like, you're taking a bite out of beer? Is that what you... No, like, <laughs> okay. how thick do you think the beer is? Oh, it's not very thick at all. Like, I, like, like 25, 25 out of 100? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, which, yeah. it looks thicker, but it's it, it goes down... It's, yeah, it's a thicker, but light beer, I think. I'm getting definitely like that, like, as, as it says, kind of a, a Belgian Saison, Saison peppery... Um, let me see what else they think. Um, it, it, I don't see the dry. Do you think it has a dry finish? No. Not really. Not too much for me, at least. It's not too bad. I, I, I think that I can see what they're trying to say. It's not. I've had. I mean, whenever I think dry, I think sh brute champagne. So. Okay. Uh, yeah. If, yeah. If it's you know definitely not that. Yeah. It's. But I, but I get. I definitely get. It's got nice rounded ish if you want to call it citrusy fruit with yep. like a, a peppery kind of clove thing going on to it um she says tart I, I i wouldn't say for me tart it just it's 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 you know it's kind of all those things i just said granted um i live in the middle east and i don't drink a lot of beer anymore um that's so... true she drinks wine these days she's yeah. more of a she's she's, <laughs> she's she's a wino she's not a beer but fun fact about smart mouth and one of the reasons why i do love them is uh living in the middle east i don't see a lot of american uh beers uh 
they are sold at Naval Station uh, Manama in Bahrain in the Whoa. Middle East. So can you say that again? Where is it? Where can you get it? In at Naval Station Bahrain. See, I can't um, even say that. Yeah, in the Middle East. So we have a lot of American sailors there that are stationed in Norfolk before they go over to Bahrain. Um, and it's a little bit of home, uh, I think. But, so but, that's but again, why another reason I like Smart Mouth. Yeah, but, but this one is maybe a little bit too much like trying to go for too much flavor for you? It's just not, I like their um, more amber. Okay, she yes. likes more their amber. Okay, yeah, that's me. <laughs> so um, I'll, I don't know, I, I poured the biggest part of mine, and if you want to show how much is in yours, I didn't want to, because I, I had drank no, some. She <laughs> bought these for me, so I figured I, I, I would, you know, see see how she felt about these. Uh, but I like that. I mean, again, it's not like my favorite, but it, it's I, I can appreciate it. Um, I'll just, um, I might collaborate in the end, but out of Elizabeth, out of a uh, Letter grade and out of a hundred, how how much would you you give this? Um, I'd give this a B letter B. grade. I it's not that... like you would say a D. B, no, B is a boy. Maybe a high C plus, okay. but a B. Uh, I think it's got that hometown factor. Okay, because I've been away from the U.S. for over two years. That can help. Um, I've missed Smart Mouth. Um, I go to the brewery to hang out with friends. Okay, so. It's not a D. It's more of a high C plus B. Because you know where it is. Yes. Where it kind of, you know, that you know where it's brewed from. It, it maybe brings, if it was from anywhere else, it brings it up a notch because yes. you know where it's from. Okay. Yeah. And I know there are other smart mouth beers that I do like and drink. Okay. So. So I, I can see how that is. I mean, you're always going to favor something that's more organic to where you're from and all that. So I can appreciate that. Um, and I, and again, you know been married to my wife for you know quite some time now since 2008 so like 20 years or something but uh um right no oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> so uh let's go from uh norfolk uh virginia norfolk norfolk not not cussing i'm gonna give this alter ego a nice banana clove peppery uh uh, reasonable in, in my turn. So, so yours, if you gave it a C plus, I'd say it's borderline C plus B. You would, you'd be in the, ah, uh, it's fine category. Yeah, category. it's fine. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Um, I mean, the more I'm drinking it, the more I'm liking it. Oh, there you go. So. There you go. See, see, the more you drink that, the, the more it's like, ah, oh, <laughs> takes the edge off. It's nice. Um, uh, so yeah, she, she's, ah, uh, it's fine. I'm going to go, uh, reasonable. Which means, to me, I, I'd give this a nice, solid, uh, you know, I'll, I'll give it an 87. So just hitting a, a B plus. Um, I can appreciate the, uh, you know, the pepper and the banana clove part of it with the citrus, but it's got some body to it. So there you go. Uh, all right. So let's, uh, let me, I'm going to pause it. I'm gonna, and then we got our other brew from Virginia Beach. But, um, all right, down the hatch here. Oh, I already finished. She, she finished. <laughs> <laughs> Done. All right, beer number one. So we're going to compare this to the second beer from Virginia Beach. Hold on. Wow, someone just shot off their cannon uh, in the other backyard. That kind of scared me for a second. Uh, I guess we're in Woodbridge, Virginia. Um <laughs> She, she knows what I'm talking about. Whatever. Uh, okay. So, beer number two. So, kind of, you know, we're, we're kind of, she, she bought these for me, so let's compare, shall we? Put our hands together. All right. This brew in front of me, if you can see it, I believe you can. Yeah, you can. It's called uh, Hopt Hoptopus from Reaver Beach Brewing Company. And I don't want to screw up the, the uh, where it's from in Virginia. Where is it from? Virginia Beach. <laughs> oh, it's only from Virginia Beach. Okay, so I'm not going to cuss on this one. Uh, okay, so this one, if I had my Richter button, this one, this one's a little bigger for Elizabeth here. I, you know, that's why I didn't pour it. Like, do you want to kind of show how much I poured for? There you go. Okay, this one is 8.8 .8 on the Richter. Ding, ding. Two rings, double. Uh, it's an Imperial Double IPA. Uh, 
It has eight different hops in it. Doesn't like doesn't want to say what it is, but it's super bitter. I've I haven't seen something in a while that is 108 IBU. Um, so and it says it's generally generously dry hopped. Um, and we looked up this word. Um, um, it says foolishy generous dry hop make of this denizen. Elizabeth, what does that mean? Uh, from a specific location, I think. Yeah, like uh, from its domain or something yeah. like that. Um, of the deep, of the deep, a lupulin delight. What does lupulin mean, Elizabeth? According to Dan, it's dank. Dank <laughs> and marijuana feel. So we'll see. If Very we, hoppy. Yeah. It's supposed to be bitter, but I, whenever I say lupulin powder, I'm almost saying, ah, I'm getting a little kind of like if I ground up a bunch of weed and threw it in my beer. So uh, we'll see. Um, Reaver Beach. All right. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Let's uh, let's get a shears. Bring it in. All right, biggie ups. Let's go, Elizabeth. Okay, what's the first take, Elizabeth? I want to hear your take. Oh no! That's what I. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me want to give the smart mouth one an A. <laughs> I almost feel like I'm on uh, the, the, the the hot one show when you you, you go from the, the the lighter uh hot sauces to the hotter hot sauces they're like this is good and then oh so that's that's what kind of she look she made just gave me prefacing again I don't drink beer anymore <laughs> so yeah well so so this is a shock to her system uh okay what any what kind of flavor would you say this is giving you not good flavor. Just completely like piney bitter. Uh, Herbal piney bitter. Yeah, it's I no, I don't like it. Because I'm gonna try to tr describe what it what you should be tasting. That there's way. like an aftertaste that I don't like. At all. <laughs> That's what you get from I from these huge uh, bitter IPAs. Hey, it's from Virginia Beach. You gave it to me. So. I went to my favorite Virginia Beach food store called Taste. Everyone should go to Taste if you're in the Virginia Beach, Norfolk area. And I wanted to pick some different Virginia Beach, Norfolk local beers for you to try. That doesn't mean I've had One it before. One of which was from Atlanta. <laughs> I didn't know that. It was in the craft beer section. All good. Hey, um, hey, this is why she's on here. Biggie up. All right. <laughs> um, yeah. Well. Yeah, that I, smart mouth. This one. is why I didn't pour. I mean, I'm gonna require her to at least finish that, just <sighs> as her punishment for for uh, you know. Hey, she's the one who bought it. So, um, okay. So I'm not I'm not getting. Uh, I'll tell you that I'm not. I'm really not getting the whole marijuana dankness or lupulin thing from this. What I'm getting is what I expected when I saw the how it looks. It's it's for me. It's piney. It's uh. It's bitter as it should be. 108 IBU. Um, it's, uh, it's got a little malt, little, but it's very, it's got grapefruit peel, grapefruit peel, <laughs> grapefruit peel meets piney meets, you know, uh, you know, obviously too, too, too bitter for Elizabeth, but, um, not a wrong, like she hates this. I can tell she hates this. I, I find that this is, this is what IPAs were like to me before I came, I met New England style IPAs. They all tasted like the aggressive ones. They all tasted a little like this, that oh, the heavy aggressive. pine, heavy bitter, right? Yes. Um. Yeah. So, no wrong. I'm. I. Uh, you know. I'm just used to it. I, I. I know what the old. This is the like the old wet West Coast IPA style, from uh, from Virginia Beach. It's got a little mold in it. That's why you can see it's just a little, you know. Little, little malty, not not super like light, but uh, you know, yeah, obviously, New England hazy, West Coast, you can see my finger right through it, so that's the difference. New, Eng right. New England style hazy, and you can't see your finger through it. You can always see your finger through a West Coast style. So anyway, uh, she hates this. Um, it is very, but they're wrong. Highly um, grapefruit. Subtle citrus malt it ish and a little piney and uh, floral I guess. Uh, but let's uh, let's get to our rating. Put that right there. Now you can see it. All right. Your authentic, not 
try just your personal rating on this, Elizabeth, from, um, you know, le letter grade on this, just to make it easy. My personal opinion? Yeah. I would never drink this again, so I would give it an F. So she is giving this, oh, hell no. No, I'm sorry, Reaver Brewing. I can't, it's just not my cup of beer. <laughs> she has cups of beer. <laughs> it's not my pint of beer. Or should I say two ounces of beer. Um, all right, so she would give this an oh, hell no. Um, I've only given one beer ever an oh, hell no. She's given this oh, hell no. That shows what type, like if people that aren't IPA fans drink this, they will give this an oh, hell no. Um, I will give this... Maybe I'll even give it a leg up because it's brewed in Virginia Beach. No, I won't. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, this again, this is exactly, exactly what IPAs were to me before I discovered New England's. And, you know, some other slightly hazies. Um, it's a good change up for me as a beer drinker. Um, who likes to go from a stout to maybe an IPA to a lager. And so it's a nice change. It's a, it's a nice quick change up that kind of shocks your system. But, um, and I can appreciate it. Um, it feels that, that, could you, if for you, Elizabeth, could you tell what the alcohol percentage is on this at all? Uh, no, but since I'm a lightweight now, okay, <laughs> I'm sure I would get drunk on it. Okay. Um, so, so, so you would, but if you had to like guess anywhere, let's say between a 6% and 10%, where would you think this would be? Uh, without knowing it was 8.8, 8. would you have I, any idea? At least a seven, maybe. Okay. She would think it was seven. I think it would be sloppy. Uh, Ah, uh, I wouldn't think it was 8.8, .8, to be honest with you. I think it's 7.7 .7 is what I think. So, anyway, I'm going to give this kind of like the farmhouse ale in a different way. I'm going to give this a, uh, you know, reasonable. And by that, I mean, ah. Uh, I think I'd prefer the farmhouse ale more. This is... You know, I like I like aggressive beers. Don't get me wrong, but um, this is the, this is why I'm not a big West Coast style IPA guy. Uh, I'd give this like an 86 out of 100. I, I I don't mind it. I I just think like it's too much of of the bitter and grapefruit and piney that that you know like it it's fine. It, it you know. <laughs> Even though that's a grade, I'll give it above, slightly a grade above its eye. Uh, it's fine. Um, or no, you know what? Maybe it would fall in the grade. It's an 86, so it's not a B plus. So I'd give it like a straight B. Ah, it's fine. How about that? Um, it just, it's very, as she said, she she hated it. I I think it's, it's you know, straight, old school, very bitter uh, West Coast style. So there you go. But she, hey. I, I did not choose these beers. She she chose them to me. So, um, but you know what? Just to finish off this, uh, you know, casual beer because I, obviously I've got to do it. Bring it in. She she finished it. She finished it. I didn't want right. to prolong the pain. <laughs> Here's the all crowd. Thanks for tuning in, Reviews with Beck. Subscribe and like. I love you. Let's finish this. Biggie ups. All right. Done. Finish this 108 IBU monster called Hot Hoptopus out of uh, that place called where? Virginia Beach. Okay. So, anyway, uh, that's all we got. Uh, I guess Elizabeth's rating went from the farmhouse that was, she rated a C plus? No, it was a, a B, a strong B. Okay. Strong, wow, strong B. And then this one was, was an F, <laughs> hell no. Mine was, for the far farmhouse, a uh, reasonable um, 87. And this one, just because just I can appreciate both styles, but, you know, and I, I'm, I, I, I like 
you know, aggressive things. I like very, I just got the bomb hot sauce from Hot Ones literally for Christmas. So I like hot sauce. I still can't wait to try it. It's supposed to just blow up my mouth. But uh, anyway, this one 87, or no, that, this one was 86. Uh, ah, it's fine. The farmhouse was slightly above as a, um, as a, you know, reasonable. So there you go. Two, two beers out of Virginia. Uh, this is going extra long. Steve Carell joke. Never mind. And uh, that's about it. So um, any last words of uh, wisdom, Elizabeth, or are you good? Uh, go to Virginia Beach. It's awesome. Yeah. I mean, there are a lot of breweries to try. Yeah. I Have I been to Virginia Beach? Probably not. Okay. I have not. I will try to get to Virginia Beach. I mean, the, the, the current, like, this is basically Maui. I mean, like, if you're looking at it, Woodbridge, Virginia. Like, you got the overcast, the trees. It's like Maui, you know, in the background. So, uh, but it's not actually, I'm joking. It's actually pr pretty nice. I, you know, very refreshing kind of coolness going here. Uh, very happy. Very happy that Elizabeth joined us for this, uh, this taste off. She had a lot of courage to drink two brews. She probably doesn't like so much. Uh, she gave them to me and uh that's about it so anyway but i just want to say you yes. did like the one i gave you right that the commonwealth one. Oh no yeah so i she... did succeed in one no and, and, <laughs> I, and i still thought that, thought that thought even though it's aggressive i i like this one but the, the the big poppy she gave me was an a beer so and when i saw it i was like oh i'm probably gonna like this one based off of untapped ratings and what what i read about it so uh it was very good these these were you know, as you know, very, very good beers, just not big poppy. So anyway, uh, so, uh, I guess that's it. Good talk. Sign us out, Elizabeth. Uh, see you later. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see don't you know. out there. We'll see you out there until the next review. <laughs>